Um, hi, I'm Lizzie, and I'm just going to take a second to talk about politics. The powers that be are trying everything they can at the moment to keep us down, but as angry and as disheartened as we might feel, imagine how tired they are, because everywhere they are, so are we. We are on the streets. We are outside their offices, outside their arms factories, on their rooftops, in their meetings, at their fundraising dinners. And now some of us are in their neighborhoods, hitting them where it really hurts, because we are stealing their votes. And we are being greeted at every doorstep with more love and respect than they will ever know, because they sold their soul for an ounce of power, and they sold out humanity for a paycheck. Well, we are coming for that power, and we are coming for that paycheck, and we are going to fight for it to be put back into the hands of the communities and the people where it belongs. And to show them that they don't get to keep their cushy jobs, the two houses and all the other benefits that come with it, without being accountable to the people that put them there and without being accountable to humanity. I don't care that Jeff Smith picks up litter. I don't care that Lucy Powell replies to emails sometimes. Where were they, where was their voice when the NHS was being destroyed from the top down? Where were they, where then their communities en masse Ask them to call for an immediate ceasefire and an end to UK arms sales to Israel. To make life better for more than just the top 10% of people and end our unwilling complicity in atrocities, in the beheading of children, the burning of refugee camps, and the imprisonment, torture, and mutilation of innocent people. Our MPs think that they are invulnerable, that their supremacy, their job security is a given. It is not. Because you cannot deny the will of the people, especially when those people have the good of humanity and the righteousness of anger on their side. Their crimes, their greed, and their lack of empathy will catch up with them someday, and for some of them, that day will be as soon as July 4th. The deadline to register to vote is the 18th. And as that approaches, I want you to keep in mind that this situation is urgent. These people are the ones negotiating and supporting arms deals, bartering with Palestinian lives, and capitalizing on the misery and misfortune of people here and everywhere and they will keep doing it until they are stopped. We need to end the menace and the insidiousness of career politicians and party line prioritizers. This revolution starts one corrupt imperialist, imperialist politician, one oppressive system at a time, and it ends only when we all have the world we actually want. When Palestine is free and liberated and they all have the right to return. When all the political prisoners are released and returned to their families. When justice, sanctions and arrests are made and we make sure that this is never ever able to happen again. So let's keep fighting all those complicit in every way, in every single lane that we can for Palestine, for the UK for the thought of a future that doesn't make us miserable and doesn't include complicity in the slaughter of a people and the erasure of their culture. Let's keep taking this fight for Palestine and Palestinian prisoners to Elbit, to Aqsa, to Barclays. Let's also take it directly to the genocide enablers in Parliament where they cannot ignore it. This election is another weapon we have in our arsenal. And if you want to use it to make these MPs stressed, to make them accountable, then consider voting against them. 
and remember that one of the best ways to show them, to show the world what we want and what we stand for as a people is to put it on our ballots. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, voting is definitely one channel through which we can express our solidarity. 